You're not supposed to see that, but I think it's important America see how crappy things are done here. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I made an amazing discovery recently. That's right. It turns out, I'm not kidding about this, this is true. It turns out that our show, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, is extremely popular in Finland. I'm not lying about this. We've been, we've noticed this for a while. Back me up on this, Jeff. This is true. We, for a while now, uh, I come out and I talk to the crowd a little bit beforehand, and then every night there's people here from Finland. We've been getting a ton of Finnish people in our audience. We've also received tons of postcards and emails all from Finland. Tonight we have, there's a Finnish gentleman here in the audience tonight. Is it Mako? Did you say your name was Mako? There he is right there. That's terrific. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Mako, uh, you're from Finland, that's right. You came here and the show is shown, our show is shown uh, in your country, I guess. People seem to enjoy it. We have other, are there other people here tonight who are also from Finland? There's some, yes, you two ladies are from Finland right there. I don't know what the hell is going on. Because, you know, you'd think, would, you know, yes, we primarily get Americans, but all these Finnish people are, are showing up. And I didn't know, understand this at all. Then I found out why. Apparently, and this is true, apparently I look exactly like the president of Finland. Check it out. Check this out right now. <laughs> I think that's the reason they're coming to the show. They see it, they're here in the country, they're staying in a hotel, they see a commercial for this show and they think the president of Finland has a talk show in America. We must go and see it and salute. Well, it turns out, we found this out just today, it turns out that there's a presidential election in Finland this year and this woman, Tarja Halonen, is up for re-election. And I decided, since her country's been so supportive of us and because I look exactly like her, I want her to win. I want to get behind this woman. I do. I like looking like the president of Finland. Even if it's a woman, I just like it. It's kinky. So, I decided to use this show's immense popularity to make sure that Tarja Halonen is re-elected. In fact, I already produced her first political ad, which we're going to run in Finland. Take a look. Tosiaan. Elämä on ollut hyvä meille, Tarja Halosen kaudella. Joo. Murhatkin on laskenut kahdesta yhteen per vuosi. Joo. Ylioppilaskokeiden tulokset ovat vahvoja kuin Suomen hienot merivoimat. <tos> Joo. Ja presidentti Halosen johdolla kalatalousala tuottaa enemmän karppia kuin koskaan. Joo. Sitä paitsi olen aivan hänen näkonen. Huonoimmat syyt valita Tari Halonen uudelleen komiteannuksena. Tarja Halonen, is that her name? Let's get this thing going. Tarja, 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 That's great, that's great. I've got apathetic Americans chanting. <laughs> For the president of Finland. This is a great achievement. Well, of course, I should talk about this country because, you know, <laughs> this is primarily where we're shown. Uh, you know, one of the biggest stories in the news right now is the Harriet Meyer Supreme Court nomination. It's true. It's, uh, this thing is a media circus. Everyone's talking about it. There are a lot of characters involved. And as you can imagine, all the networks are now rushing to cash in on all the attention that this nomination has caused. I just found out this morning NBC has begun making a made-for-TV movie about the nomination. Yeah, our primetime schedule is a little weak, so they thought, we, you know, this might this would be fine. So they've rushed ahead. They've made this. And, folks, they just finished casting this show. And apparently they don't want anyone to know who's playing whom. But uh, I found out. I actually wandered by the casting offices. I got the list of who's going to play who. And I'm going to tell you because it's a big scoop. And what do I care, right? I don't... So uh, they've cast everybody. I think they've done an amazing job. I was looking at who they've cast, and I think NBC has done an incredible job of casting all the people. For instance, Justice Antonin Scalia is going to be played by Paul Sorvino, which I think is a, it's a great... It's, it's really good, yeah. And Senate Judiciary Committee member Joe Biden will be played by James Kahn. I think it's very cool. These are really good, and these only get better. Folks, listen to this. Chief Justice John Roberts will be played by Al Bundy from Married with Children. Good. 
going to have his hands in his pants the whole time. Harriet, My Harriet Myers. Harriet Myers will be played by Randy Johnson. I think this is... Uh, <laughs> he's got a lot of dime downtime now, so he's going to do it. Justice Clarence Thomas, Thomas will be played by Gary Coleman. I think this is <laughs> incredible casting. Justice Sandra Day O'Connor will be played by the Quaker Oats guy. <laughs> Justice Ruth... <laughs> now, wait a minute! Why? I haven't done anything yet. Why do you assume it's going to be negative? Why assume that? Maybe it's going to be some good casting. Maybe Conan O'Brien's going to surprise you and be a really nice guy now. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg will be played by Gollum. And I think... Ted Kennedy will be played by Mr. Met. I think Mr. Met. Will... And finally, George Bush will be played by Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. I know you, know you, have, you have twins. Is that right? Six-year-old twins. We do. We have two boys, Billy and Curtis, mm -hmm. and uh, they're getting to to the stage where they have opinions. About on your work. My work. Yeah. I would think, yeah, a six year old. I mean, I only, I only have, uh, my daughter's just turning two and she's starting to get in my grill about stuff. I would yeah. think a six year old would have a lot to say about yeah. what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. What kind of advice are you getting from them? Well, they feel that uh, the title Elizabeth Town is boring. Mm -hmm. You know. So I said, uh, well, you know, give me your ideas, guys. Give me your ideas. And they decided that the, the name of the movie should be uh, Bang Bang Plop Plop. <laughs> yeah, and I, I thought about bang, it. Bang bang, flop flop. Yeah, and did I, they did they did they think that was funny? They think it was cool. I mean, compelling and Compe funny and, <laughs> yeah. and just yeah. powerful. Right. And um, and I thought, well, that's funny, kids, you know. Right. And then I was in a meeting with the studio, Paramount, which is releasing the movie, and I said, you know, I got to tell you a funny story. Uh, my kids think Elizabeth Town's a boring title. They think the movie should be called uh, Bang Bang Plop Plop. Right, right. <laughs> They're looking at each other going, now that is a hit movie title. <laughs> <laughs> that is a title. That's how Hollywood works. How yeah. can we get a hold of those Bang, things? bang, plop, plop. <laughs> Uh, so, I love uh, it. You know, it's funny because there have been <laughs> movies, I mean, a, a good movie title or a, or a movie title that you haven't heard before can get you to go see a movie. I maintain yeah. the greatest title for a movie of all time, Pootie Tang. <laughs> yeah, I think, Pootie Tang. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if that says anything about the merit of the film itself. I don't know anything, Absolutely. but every time I hear Pootie Tang, I think, must see Pootie Tang. <laughs> uh, so Bang Bang, Plop go. Plop might be... I think, uh, you know, well, we come out in two days with the movie, so... It's, it's a little late. late but How about when it is. goes to the Netherlands? Uh, or... Or Finland. Finland. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Bang Bang, Plop Plop? We're there. If what I'm, would that be in Finnish? How would you say that in Finnish, sir? Bum Bum. Plop, plop. <laughs> Ooh, wow. 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 And yeah. in German, it's as is loud as you can. All great titles. These are all great titles.